Welcome to Railfans Canada. I'm Shane Seguin. Join us as we discover Ottawa's O-Train, Montreal's REM, and Metro Systems together. This is made and uh, developed right now for the testing. So the screen you see are not exactly the same screen you'll see in the future for each of the operator. But in the future, you have an operator of communication that will see more the, the camera, what happened on the field completely. After that, you have another one that will look at traffic, making sure they know where the car are all the time. And another one will look the energy so the energy of the substation, the energy on in a station to see if the door is open, the door is closed, the ventilation. So you're able to control every step completely of the network from here. But you control basically everything. Everything. A door, an intrusion. Uh, we have system also on this, the, 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 the bridge about the weather condition. Yep. If there's a the violent wind, winds, the, okay, we'll know, we'll take decision. Like the people that come every day, they will come and say, okay, today it was a bright, sunny day, no wind, no nothing. And uh, we start at that time with that, the number of vehicles. So it's really a details log of everything that occurred to make sure we take the right decision. I don't know the type of glass, but it's made the key to uh, sustain a fire a certain time. And this is why also you have that the curtain. If something happens, we want to have our system secure completely. So this is why there's some restriction, okay, and it's made like that. But it's really made to be able to view without disturbing the people that operate the train. And like I said, majority of the time, okay, it will be like free of any problem, issue, difficulties, but people will follow always. So in the system with the number of, I don't, I don't recall exactly the number of camera, about thousand of them, but the camera is able to see about 95, 90, 95% of all the system, everything. So you have a view, a better view, but you're able to look around completely. So if uh, an intrusion is detected on the system, there will be something, an alarm that will pop up. The alarm will pop an image. The image okay, will be validated by someone that will look into it and the person could play with the camera to go in more details and say, okay, there's really something or there's nothing at all. That would be the same in the train. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be able to see if something's going wrong with, I don't know, which situation we can face in the train with people. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to see with intelligent cameras just to pop up in the control center and to take the appropriate measures. For example, someone would do like the first three stations or it's just they oversee certain trains? They will do everything, they will see everything and after that, depending on the situation, okay, one of the operator could ask the other operator to do something different and there's a supervisor also, supervisor will decide yeah, you focus there, you see that one. The, the manual control will be taken okay, by someone inside the train. Yeah, but the, the central control room will know what happened with the train, but it will be manually controlled by someone in the train. So in the train, you have like the pupit, okay, they will remove the desk, and in that desk, okay, they're able to control, have the back and, back, back and forth, or the fourth. <laughs> direction. People won't see it, but basically, in the train, there is a full uh, driver cabin, but people won't see it because it will be hidden. You have equipment on both sides, but the driving portion is the right one. In the control center, basically, during 25% of the time, there's nothing to do. But we need these people to be really focused to react for the 5% where they have to do something. So that's a uh, that's why it's very quiet and uh, protected area.